Hey there, my name is Andrew and welcome to an Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be following off of yesterday's video that we uploaded, which was creating a delay on our for loop node. So this video will be going over how to do the same process on the for each loop. And what this does is that it means that we can add a delay to anything off of the loop body on a for each node. So what that means is that rather than having everything on the loop body happen all at the exact same time and then you have this thing here where they all spawn at the same time together, we can have a delay input that controls that flow and we can have it so that one is spawning every half a second or a second or whatever the delay you want is. So without further ado, let's get onto it. First, let's go to the piece of code where we want to have our for each loop. I already have an array of actors class types put into here for our input. And what, and what that's doing is that we are spawning actors from it. If I wanted to have a delay, one of the things that I used to do, which I now know better of, is that I would just put a delay in here. That doesn't actually work though, and you'll know that if you have seen yesterday's video. So to get around this, we're going to have to create a blueprint macro library. So we go to our content browser. Here you can see the one that we used in yesterday's video. But to get it, you just right click, go to blueprints, blueprint macro library, and then you pick actor as your class. Since we already have one though, we're just going to borrow off of that. So double click on my macro library or the macro library that you've just created. And here you see the one that we made yesterday, but we want to make a new one. So let's go up here to add new macro and let's call this for each loop with delay. Because most of the code is going to be the same, we can actually go back to the blueprint graph that we were just in before. We can double click on this standard for each loop. And here we have access to the for each loop as it is by default. We can copy and paste everything except for the inputs and outputs with control C. And we go to my macro library and control V to paste. You put your inputs on the left and put your output on the right. Before we can actually put a delay inside of this loop, we're first going to have to set up our inputs and outputs. Click over here in this part of the graph and then go to down to the bottom right once it's selected and click on the plus icon for new parameter. We want the first input parameter to be an execution pin and we're going to call it exec. We want our second input to be a wild card, which means that the type is unspecified. And then we want to make the type of this variable be an array and then call it array in the input. Our third and final input is going to be a float and we want to make the float just be a single variable. Let's call this delay. This is the variable input that we're going to use to control how long our delays are. Once we have the input set up, let's go over to the other side of our blueprint graph, click on outputs. Well, actually you don't have to click on it, excuse me. It's already highlighted down here. Uh, click on new parameter, and we want the first one to be another execution pin, and let's call it loop body. Our second, is going to be a wildcard, but this time just a single variable type. Let's call this array element. Our third output is going to be an integer. Let's call this array index. And our fourth and final output will be one last execution pin. And let's call it completed. 
So now that we have our inputs and outputs all sorted out, we can go and start connecting the pins in their correct locations and then adding the delay node. The execution off of input goes into this assign. The array off of inputs goes into two locations. The first one is this length node inside test loop condition. And then the second location that the pin goes to is right over here where it says get in execute loop body. Now we want to create the delay. So then we have our delay feeding in. You're going to want to drag off of here, this assign under increment loop counter, type delay. And then you want to connect this duration to our delay. And now for connecting to the outputs, all we need to do, first we'll do the array index, drag off of here, where it says local integer, and let's connect that to our array index. We want the output of our get to array element. Drag off of then zero on this sequence and it will connect to loop body. And back here we have a branch and we want false to connect to completed. And now you have a for each loop that has a delay in it. So to test this, let's go back to the location in our starting blueprint where we want the for each loop with delay to go. Right click and type in what we've called it for each loop with delay. And then we're going to want to replace this one with this one. And we connect up all the pins the same as they were before. Except now we have an input for delay. So what we can do here is set it to 0.2 and this means that we will have it spawning at a rate of 5 per second. If we go back to the level, Alt P for play, and then we look up in the sky, we now have a steady flow of the object spawning rather than being just all at once. This is very good for spawn flow control, especially if you're dealing with AI in a level and you don't want all of the enemies to come just at once. You want a steady stream of them coming into the level. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comments down below and subscribe to keep up to date with what we're doing. We're also making other tutorials and we are also working on two game projects at the moment. One of which being a, a dinosaur game where you go around the city smashing up everything that you can. And the other project that we're working on is a strategy tycoon game called Library Tycoon. Anyway, I've been Andrew. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.